Good morning, everybody. Um, sorry, I've been a little bit um, out of touch lately. I've been moving house with my family um, in a rather difficult time where we've had to do it all between uh, myself and my husband. Um, so it's been a bit tricky and it, our, our internet is not being our friend at the moment. So it's been very difficult to um, be in contact with you and it's been horrible because I've missed everybody. So I just thought I'd say hello. Um, and over the course of the next few weeks, um, I'm going to read you a, a chapter of a book every day and I'm going to post it on our page um, and hopefully you can sit down, relax and enjoy. And the first book I've chosen is called Buried Alive and it's by Jacqueline Wilson. I used to read all of her books when I was growing up so I thought I'd share some with you. Tim's Diary I am here and guess what? Dad is right. Lan Pistil is brilliant. Biscuits and I get the giggles whenever we say Lan Pistil. We say it a lot. Heaps of things have happened. Biscuits nearly committed a murder. And I built the eighth wonder of the world, a miniature version. But then it was destroyed by a deadly fiendish enemy. Okay, here we go. Oops. Chapter one. Chapter one. I'd been looking forward to my holiday for ages and ages. We were going to the seaside place in Wales called Lampistil. It's a funny name. It's spelt funny too. It's in Wales and lots of Welsh words are peculiar. Dad says it's a super place though. He went there when he was a boy. We had such fun, me and my brothers, said Dad. We swam every day and we made a camp and we played French cricket on the beach and we went for long clifftop walks. I don't want to go on any clifftop walks, said Mum. I hate it when people go too near the edge. I won't go too near the edge, Mum, I said. I hate heights too. I went abseiling once. I had to. It was an adventure holiday. It was so scary. Shame you haven't got any brothers, Tim, said Dad. It won't be such fun for you. We can have fun together, said Mum. What are the shops like in Land Pistol? Shops, said Dad. I think there's one. One, said Mum. What sort of shop? I don't know. A general store, I suppose said Dad impatiently. You don't go to Lampistol to go shopping. Obviously not, said Mum. She sighed. I like shopping. So do I, I said. Dad sighed too, even more impatiently. Boys don't like shopping, he said. I worry about you sometimes, Tim. I worry about my dad sometimes too. He doesn't half go on and on and on. We have a lovely time when we go shopping at Flowerfield Centre on Saturdays, don't we, Tim? said Mum. Tim should be having fun with his friends, not hanging around his mum, said Dad. Then he stopped and snapped his fingers. I've had a brilliant idea. I twitched. I don't always like my dad's ideas, particularly when he thinks they're brilliant. But this time I thought it was a truly dazzling idea. Let's invite one of Tim's friends to come to Land Pistol too, said Dad. Oh, yes, I said. Oh, no, said Mum. I am not at all sure about looking after someone else's child. And some of those boys in Tim's class at school are a pretty wild bunch. I don't want to invite anyone from school, I said. I want to invite Biscuits. That boy you met on the adventure holiday, said Mum. The boy who was always eating, said Dad. He seemed quite a nice, well-behaved sort of boy, said Mum. Better than that, Kelly. Met this girl, Kelly, on an adventure holiday too. She's my girlfriend now. I didn't really choose her, she chose me. She keeps writing to me. She puts all these kisses at the end. It's dead embarrassing. But she's OK, really. Quite good fun, actually. But nowhere near as fun as Biscuit's. So Dad got in touch with Biscuit's dad and Mum had a long talk on the phone with Biscuit's mum. 
it was all fixed. I was thrilled. Biscuits was thrilled. Kelly was not at all thrilled when I wrote and told her. She wrote back, You mean rotten stinking pig. Why didn't you ask me to go on this lamb pissy place with you? Though I'm going to have a much better holiday. My mum's got this new boyfriend with a caravan and we're all going camping. And it'll be heaps more fun. And I might have asked you to come, but I'm not now. So there. <laughs>